and welcome back to more Dragon Ball. I am here with my reaction to episode 42, 42 days of daily Dragon Ball. Woo now, I sound a bit funny today. So I, I found this top online, right? And based on how it looked, I, I didn't do that much um, proper digging into it. But I was like, that looks nice. I want it. So I bought it and it came today and it's very um, noisy. It's kind of like something I feel like you'd see on like a dance program or something like Strictly Come Dancing or something. But whatever, we're, we're rocking it today. All I'm saying is that if you hear like weird sounds, it's not you, it's me. Muscle Tower is done, dusted, Android or Andrew. Andrew the Android decided it was best to knock it down completely and I love that it's like the end of an era it now means that the village is safe and everything can kind of go back to normal for them we saved the old dude and now he can go back to running his village now of course the red ribbon army are still a problem in the world. It's just that we've managed to secure this section that we are at. We still very much have the commander and his weird cat to deal with. It's funny though because we keep going on about Colonel Silver as well and I know that they got into a fight, the two of them, and then Colonel Silver was reprimanded, is that the word, by Commander Red. But I didn't think that that was the end of Colonel Silver. And I quite enjoyed his character as well. I definitely think we are at the end of General White. I'm so glad I've written down all of these names, you guys, because my brain otherwise would be like, blue who? Like, green what? Yeah, my brain's kind of a nightmare when it comes to names. So yeah, I'm sure today everything will be a nice calm, a little bit of a cool down from Muscle Tower. Now don't forget you can watch all of these episodes on Edited With Me over on my website suzylou.co.uk. I am doing this daily but I'm also playing a couple of games on the channel as well so if you're looking for some other style content you can check out, what am I doing, Elden Ring DLC. It's, it's difficult, okay? It's uh, kicking my butt at the moment. And FNAF Into the Pit, which is good. It's a really, really good, solid horror game. I'm really enjoying it. So you can check out those videos as well. Right, let's delve on into episode 42. Goku enjoys a much-deserved break from his adventures by doing what he loves most. I really hope that she taught him how to make a snowman or like, I don't know, like has Goku ever even seen snow before? Like I don't think he has, he's not used to it. So yeah, I hope they taught him to make a snowman. I love the way that Android 8 looks at him. I feel like after he thought that he lost Goku, he's just so like, Goku. I love you. I love that you, sure buddy. Was great. Goku. Eat all you want, son. Because of you, our village is whole again. Mother, bring Goku another casserole. Do you know how long it takes to make a casserole? This poor woman. No one ever found the Dragon Ball. We searched everywhere for it, but nothing ever turned up. Mm. It was probably never here at all, or so I'd guess. Wait. He knows, he knows about the Dragon Ball. Whoa. Huh? Here it is. No, it's ball. number two! I need number four! I found the ball inside an ice cave near Muscle Tower. I was going to give it to General White, but then I learned he was planning to kill all of the villagers once he had recovered it. I couldn't <gasps> bear the thought of being responsible for something like that. Bless you so much! Oh, I love him! That cinches it then! You're welcome to live in our village. <laughs> Me? And Goku too? Of course! Uh, listen, once Goku figures out how to travel because he lost the Nimbus, he'll be on his way. Thank you, but I can't stay. Hmm. Why not? 
This one's nice, but I'm looking for the four-star ball. That's the one my grandpa gave to me. It's the only one I care about. I wish, though, Goku, like, you were the perfect person to hold on to all of the Dragon Balls. Like, you're so kind. You should keep it. Then it's settled. Uh, but I'm not really human. I've met people I wouldn't call human. It's your heart that counts, and you've got a big one. That's what I said to you, even if he doesn't have one at all. You'll love it here. I must go. <sighs> Thank you. I appreciate the offer, but I can't live with you. But where are you gonna go? There's a bomb planted somewhere inside my body. Right. A bomb? Yeah, but we broke the device. All right, now get started! Take care of this nuisance! Like, we broke the device, so you're free of the bomb. Or we find somebody to get rid of the bomb. Oh my god, if anyone was to blow up Andrew. Oh, I'd kill them! Why would anyone do such a thing? I'm so sorry. I can't stay here. I would be putting everyone's life in danger. But I don't want him to be alone, though. Like, he feels like he's gonna have to go and live by himself. He can save you. Dr. Flap is a genius. Dr. Flap? So, who is he? He is an extraordinary scientist. He lives alone in the mountains behind the village. He built a laboratory up there so he can work on his experiments undisturbed. Okay, this guy actually sounds like a little bit of a freak. <laughs> I'm sorry it's Dragon Ball. You can't trust anyone. Dr. Flap loves me. I've been to his house several times. I bet he talked to Ada if I were there. That's true. The doctor's rather fond of Suno. If she goes along, he might be inclined to help aid her out. Will you go with them, Sweet Pea? Is Mum gonna go? Cause it's a little bit strange for a little girl to go without her parents. Thank you for being so kind to me. Aww. He's gonna be okay. We're gonna make sure that he doesn't go boom in the night. Or the day. Or whenever. No. No! It can't be! <laughs> That's crazy though. We have two Dragon Balls. Balma would be so happy. Is that the radar General White was trying to steal from you? Yep, it sure is. It was a present from my friend Bulma. See, you just push this button. What the? Hey! No, it's not broken. Come on. I guess I must have broken it while I was fighting. Oh my oh, gosh, that Maybe sucks. Like, that too. radar was better than anyone else's we've come across. Oh well, we'll get Android 8 fixed and then we'll ask the guy if he can fix the radar at the same time. Music is so good in the show. Ah. Look how happy everybody is now. I hate it when bad people, and this is such a like immature take, but it's true. I hate it when bad people just come along and ruin people's day, ruin people's vibe. Does Murasaki really think that he can do this again? He's a very nice person once you get to know him. I guess it won't hurt us to ask. The worst thing that he can do is say no. Come on, guys, there's nothing to worry about. I mean, the worst thing he can do actually is attack you, but... I hope you're right, Sano. Okay, this is good. Android A is on his guard a little bit, and that's what I'm like, too. We don't know this person. Also, why does he like Sunon so much, you know what I mean? Where do you think you're going? Huh? Oh, God. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's done the camouflage behind the tree, but it, is he gonna pee on the tree? Uh, oh, he's peeing on him! Goku! Uh, oh, yuck! No! You pay for that, you despicable runt! He literally just peed on you! <laughs> That is so funny though. The last time he tried to use that trick, you could actually see his feet, so he's gotten better. What kind of water is that? The water became hard in the cold temperature, that's all. 
What you waiting for, silly? Let's go! Okay, but is it strong enough for the android? <laughs> that was funny! <laughs> oh yeah, that was great! <laughs> <laughs> That is like me. I love going oh, ice skating like fun. closer to Christmas, but. Oh, I told you it's not safe. Wow, this hard pond is great. Who knew water could do so many neat things? We have to come back and do this again. Oh, I'm just waiting for. Yeah, he's gonna jump on it now. It and then this is ice. gonna be the thing to push it over the edge. Oh. Oh. Ah, what? save! Quick, Goku, get the kettle! Great! Would you just leave already? Did you hear that? I could have sworn I heard a splash. Me too. Very strange. If you're so strong, why are you so worried about actually catching up to them, huh? Oh, he's talking too much. Well, <laughs> I don't hear anything. I guess not. I always knew I'd die an erotic death. Go, go, go! Get up, get up, get up! Go! Yeah. Was it not enough to notice, you know, the giant hole in the ice? Oh, Catherine! Where's the hole? Where's the stupid hole? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Could he actually die here? He was right next to the hole. He's so stupid. I hate that kid! I like that he tries to blame Goku. He's like, oh, I hate that kid so much. Did you not cause that situation? You need to check the ice before you just start diving on it. Actually, there's a lot of people that die in ice-related uh, ice incidents like that because they always think that the ice is super, super thick and it's not. He must get absolutely no mail up here. Ain't no Amazon guy coming up here. Ooh, how did they see me? It's a bear. <laughs> mm, uh, just a bear. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> there was no need. There was no. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> there was no need to shout. Just the bear. Oh no. Oh, I'm so sorry. And now it's a ghost! Huh. I'm a bear covered with snow. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, this guy is so funny. I am a bear covered in snow. Dr. Flap, are you home? Maybe he's gone. Oh. Private property! Doctor! <laughs> Suno! Okay, I can tell, like, if she wasn't there, it definitely was gonna be an incident. They're both very strong. No, no, not me. I'm really not that strong. Oh, yes, you are. Stop joking around. Remember how you tore down Muscle Tower? Mm-hmm. With my bare hands. I hope the Red Ribbon Army never returns. Me too. Unfortunately, there is a lot of them. So there is a chance as soon as they realize that that general is gone, they'll just come straight back in. You can say Vader. Dr. Flap. Uh-huh. You can take out his bomb, right? Uh, yes, yes, of course, absolutely. Don't give it a second thought. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Is this guy really as smart as he tries to make out? Poor boy must be exhausted. <laughs> He'll sleep better with the pillow and blanket. I'll be right back. I get that, like, scientists are a little bit strange, but this guy is shady. I don't want to leave 80 with him. It's been a long time. <laughs> Murasaki! Huh? Oh! Wait, how do you know each other? He and his soldiers were defeated yesterday at the Android number 8 went renegade. You remember that one, right? <laughs> of course you do. After all, you made him. Oh no! Oh my goodness! Of course he can get the bomb out then. That you were the man responsible for giving life to the most monstrous creation. 
You mean the kindest creation. So why are you here now then? Just tell me what you want me to do. The brat sleeping in your living room has the Dragon Ball. I want you to get it for me. After that, all you have to do is take care of the boy. Permanently. Oh my god. And I bet he's gonna be like, you need to explode the android. I could have gone back to the village and gotten a blanket faster than this. Just like you, Doctor. I'm about so to lose no, my patience. You should go back to the living room. So no, run, run, dear. Come here. Hey. Oh no, oh no, don't you hurt her! I'll Don't touch simple. her! Do as I say, or the girl gets it! Oh, soon no! It's gonna be down to 80 again! Cause Goku has conveniently taken a nap! Doctor? Uh, what are you doing with his Dragon Balls? <laughs> Wait, stop! No, go get him! Go get him! He's got the Dragon Balls! Ah! That's a no. She's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Grab him! <laughs> so long, losers! <laughs> as easy as that to get them? Goku! What are you doing? He took your Dragon Balls with him. Uh, what? <laughs> Stop! Thief! My goodness. He just always falls asleep at the worst possible time. Why did nobody wake him up? Hey, come back! I love this. I bet he can run as quickly as that. <laughs> come on, Goku! Keep up with the snowmobile! I think he's tired. He's probably hungry. Aww! Gah! May ha no May ha Yes from a distance you'll see <laughs> Oh Oh no he's gonna cause an avalanche Oh no <laughs> Push it to the limit I hope that this doesn't make it all the way to the guy's house Reminds me of Final Fantasy VII, the snowboarding. Not that you have an avalanche chasing you, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank goodness it's here. I was afraid he would eat my lunch. Oh, wait. He didn't Somehow take the... Oh, always thought Dragon Balls oh, oh, that is... Yes. Yes, that is good. That is good. I mean, obviously they're going back there because Sano is with us. Please don't stress that much, you made him. I did it, there's nothing more to worry about. Get rid of that <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Goku. <laughs> Quick hands. <sighs> I owe you my life, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you, Thanks, Doctor. That is it. He can now actually live among the people. I love it. That's okay. I'll just take it back to Bulma. She'll know what to do with it. What? Huh? <laughs> ah! Oh no, not again. So Take long, care, Dr. Bye -bye. I thought I was gonna cause another avalanche. I wish I had the courage to tell Aids that I planted the bomb. I had no choice. They would have killed the villagers if I didn't. Bye. Perhaps someday I can tell him the truth. He doesn't need to know. At the end of the day, you saved him, so let that be the story. Like the ebb and flow of the tides, my wrath shall remain constant. I'll have my revenge! <laughs> I'll have my revenge! Oh no! What goes up? <laughs> it's always.
always nice to end a story with a bang. Join us next time for another exciting adventure on Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball! Da -da. Yay! I'm really happy for him. So the question now is, is he going to come with us? So we're obviously going to go and find Balma now because we need to fix the radar in order to find more of the Dragon Balls. But I feel like we're going to get to Balma and she's going to freak out. She's going to end up being like, huh, you have two of the Dragon Balls already. Why don't we push for a better wish this time? Maybe. Maybe her and Yamcha haven't worked out and, you know, the whole get a better boyfriend thing is back on or... Yeah, who knows? I wonder if she's going to want to stick around. It's always exciting because you don't know who is going to be in his team. And I feel like we've met so many characters along the way. Like, literally, this book, I have an entire page so far of just who the characters are that we have met along the way. And it's a lot of people. So it is always exciting to wonder, you know, who's going to be hanging out with us next. Yeah. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.